Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started first of all a big thanks to all of you who keep hitting that like button adding comment and sharing the video this channel still need your help guys so please keep hitting that like button add a comment and share the video i really appreciate it a lot let's get started with the dixie on the weekly time frame so what happened last week guys uh, well not much on the dollar uh, as you see we ended up with a doji candle um, which means uh, there is indecision in the market at this level if this will continue to move higher as i'm expecting toward the 95 area or make uh, another correction before a continuation to the upside so the weekly time frame for last week not much but the week before was a nice strong bullish candle this happened before here we had a nice bullish candle to then get a doji candle a slow down week before another breakout so uh, if you ask me i'm <laughs> wishing and hoping that the market does the same again because i am a bullish dollar as usual most of the time i am bullish the dollar now if we go down to the daily time frame we see that things are a little bit tricky now we we still have we we start having this squeeze pattern yeah so uh, the price uh, did a correction back down move higher did not break uh, to the upside move lower did not break to the downside during the nfp last week uh, if you remember we've had on friday the nfp the number uh, came mixed the uh, headline number came lower than expectation but then we've got the hourly earnings 0.6 percent and the unemployment rate came 4.8 that is a very very good number actually and i want you also guys to keep in mind that the previous nfp was revised higher so um that's almost 100k more um, that got revised so i'm not really trusting this number i do like the idea that we had a good uh, hourly um, uh, earnings and the unemployment rate is uh, so much better than the expect the expectation and better than previous so what happened was the usual thing that you see on um, on the nfp um move up move down and then go inside and close the day inside the range that's always the case on uh, these days uh, when we got the nfp so what's the new here on the dollar well not much actually i would uh, still say that um, a correction uh, all the way down to monthly pivot point is still possible and if that will be the case i'm willing to look for adding or uh, taking a new long depends on uh, what uh, currency against the dollar i'm trading i am in some trades and uh, and uh, if there is um, anything that um, show up that I'm not uh, long in, I might take the trade. So the dollar is still trading inside the channel. And as far as that is the case, I'm still willing to go long the dollar. And for next week, the, le the first level I'm interested of is at around monthly pivot point and this previously broken structure. We did not really test deep inside that. We tested only the previous uh, swing high here. But if it goes like this, I'm still willing to look for more upside on the dollar gold uh, also um still uh, not much happening on the weekly time frame gold also end up to be a uh, in a give us a doji candle i would say so um, honestly still the main idea remain that we might still see continuation to the downside but there is still no break below this structure as far as this structure is holding there is no more downside but if a break then I'm looking for a target toward the uh, 1670 area down here. So going down to the daily time frame, um, we see that uh, on Friday we've got this uh, move to the upside during the NFP. Yeah? And uh, we need to go down to the one hour time frame to see what's going on here. So this was the NFP release. The dollar shot strongly to the upside and 
what happened there was a retest of a key structure area. I did actually send a, a, a cell um, signal here, not a signal, but I told our trading room here that uh, the dollar, the gold here, here is the, um, uh, uh, where is it? Here we go. So gold is at a potential resistance and sell area when uh, gold was at around these uh, levels. Uh, I sent this message to our trading room and uh, it did not take a long time before we seeing the gold reversing totally back down. So this whole move is nothing now. And um, I still see that uh, if they break below this structure, we are moving toward uh, 1725. And of course, below that, we do have um, a very, very open area for more downside. So for next week, keep an eye on uh, this level. I think the gold will continue down to test this level as first target and second target gonna be uh, 17, 20 areas. Okay, uh, so what happened if gold give you another move to the upside? I would say try to short it once again from that same area if that would be the case. EURUSD also um, the structure is still bearish checking the weight uh, the weekly time frame we see that we had a lower high we have a lower low and we broke below these levels so euro in my opinion is still bearish now holding nicely at that 200 moving average on the weekly so this is the the weekly 200 moving average but keep in mind this is another week that break uh, sorry that closed below this previous structure and i'm not seeing any reason why the bears will stop pushing ahead of these uh, this area down here i think the bears uh, will keep pushing toward this area down here um before taking profit so going down to the daily what's happening on the daily is still the same the structure is still bearish with lower lows and lower highs and as for now as far as there is no break and close above these levels here if the uh, euro will go up here and fail to break higher i'm willing to uh, look for more downside in adding more shorts on uh, on this market the only thing that would make me change my mind here is uh, a daily chart that looks like this a break above this previous swing a higher low and then maybe a retest toward monthly pivot point this move may happen and that make maybe will make me change my mind but the major swings these are the major swings they are still bearish as you see lower low lower high another uh, sorry lower high here another equal lows or lower low here lower than this one and the last move was yet another lower low so the structure is clear we are looking at a market that is moving to the downside the 200 moving average on the daily start pointing also the, to the downside the price is well below it so i'm still in a, a same idea here to sell rallies sterling this one did a nice move to the upside as well but again the week end up to be an inside bar um the close of uh, the week before was below these previous structures so these structures are broken on the weekly time frame the structure is still lower lows and lower highs so this is still a bearish structure for now and on the daily time frame it is also still a bearish structure with lower lows and lower highs so retest of this area and continuation was my my main idea here so i took a short it it is still not going anywhere I took a short uh, here at the retest of this previously broken structure which is in my opinion a good level and um, the first uh, move was a nice move to the downside to then see the market moving higher and um, going back against me now as far as there is no break above these highs here as far as the market is failing to break above these i'm still willing to be in the trade and looking for continuation at least toward this bottom down here guys okay so if we go down to the one hour time frame we see it clearly here they failed many times to break higher and uh, for next week i am eyeing this uh, correction here I'll call this a correction because the momentum of this move was a much stronger one and now it is going slowly like this. So as I said, as far as there is no break above these highs, I'm still willing to short this market to the downside for now. 
USD Jappy, great move to the upside, took profit uh, at around 112 uh, on uh, Friday. Checking the weekly time frame, guys, we see that we have a weekly close above this high and above the week before. Still no close above this previous high. This is a critical level. This might give the bulls a little bit of a trouble. Keep in mind that we had this move from that area. We've had this move as well from that area. So it is not clear yet that the resistance is broken here. You need to be cautious. It still may give you trouble and move uh, or rotate back down toward uh, 110, 80 area. But of course, for more upside, we need to see this level cleared, these couple of levels cleared. If that would be the case on a daily time frame, we could look for a correction and then continuation. Next target would be uh, 104.114.50. Point, um, sorry, if the break happened. But as for now, I want you to consider this a structure of this uh, resistance that is still not broken yet. It is broken here, but if we look further left, we still have a little bit of a trouble on the way. It is right at that resistance at the moment. Okay, so um, easy stuff. Wait for a continuation higher. If you want to be bullish from here, then look for correction and continuation. Otherwise, you might see a double top forming or something like that or a head and shoulder formation and uh, seeing this market collapsing back down toward monthly pivot point so any weakness up here that could be the signal that we might correct lower once again usd chief still squeezing around nothing new here in my opinion we end up uh, with a uh, bearish uh, weekly candle but with a wick coming from the downside it is looking like a potential bullish flag at the moment anyway and um, checking the daily time frame yeah what's going on here is uh, bigger corrections each time it break higher you get a, a deep correction to then go like this and start uh, squeezing so for our time frame i would say as far as this market is trading above this trend line i'm uh, bullish so this market is still inside the buying area as far as it is above this trend line now if they break the trend line and break this structure they need to break this structure as well if they break those two levels the trend line and the horizontal structure down here then i will change my mind and start looking to sell this market but as for now uh, i am only looking to buy this market since it is in my buy zone USD CAD, a different story here. This is um, showing um, strong um, CAD and uh, weaker dollar against the CAD. The oil is helping the CAD a lot as well. Uh, the unemployment and employment change last Friday was also uh, a very good number here. Um, as expected on the unemployment rate, but the um, employment change came uh, like 100 100k more than the expectation so that was a very very good number and on the weekly time frame we have what looks like as a uh, head and shoulder formation with also a broken neckline so uh, this is looking that we might found a top here and this market is reversing with a break and close below this previous structure now if we go down to the daily time frame we see that it is also trading for the first time below the 200 moving average on the daily with a strong close below that so for next week what i'm watching is down here this level down here gonna be a very interesting level to watch because this might get defended by the bulls for a push higher maybe a retest of this structure or something like that so that's the first level i'm watching uh, to see if the bulls really still around or not because if they are not the scenario gonna be a break retest and then continuation toward monthly s2 as well so keep an eye on this first level as as first and then if broken next level gonna be these lows down here aussie usd also did a nice push to the upside this is getting tricky guys because uh we had this break to the upside we had a huge correction that failed to break lower a failure below this uh, structure is a good signal for the bulls that they might try to push higher and they did and after that we've got this inverted head and shoulder scenario 
we still have a key resistance here at the previously broken structure the old the bottom of the old range the price still did not go and close inside the range or above this previous neckline at as far as that is the case there is still a little bit of a chance of a rotation to the downside but right now it is not looking good for the bears um, honestly and i am one of those bears so uh, with this move higher low here continuation break above the 200 moving average a break above these structures on the four hours it is a little bit worrying right now it is still could be a retest and then continuation lower but i want you to be careful guys because of these uh, things i just mentioned here so for me to really uh, ditch my trade and um, maybe uh, reverse the trade i want to see this market going inside this uh, range on the daily time frame with a close above this level on the daily then I would look for retest and maybe continuation toward the top of the range. Otherwise, as for now, I'm still having a little bit of a chance that we might rotate lower. Not a big chance, but on the one hour time frame, I do like this rejection during the NFP. We've got this uh, strong move to the upside to then see it rotating back down. So any failure next week to break back inside the range, that could be my signal that we might continue back down toward this area once again okay so a lot of explanation here but it is a tricky scenario uh, new zealand uh, usd this one did follow our plan uh, from the from uh, the week before and right now honestly it is still possible because the structure is still lower low lower high break a strong break to the downside retest where we sold it the first time and then a little bit of a continuation now we want to see further downside on this market to see that we go down to the four hour time frame so the first sell was after this break i said we sell in this skill zone here as you see it is marked with a darker um, red and uh, we've got the sell and the market did push nicely now another correction and i'm waiting for this continuation to happen so this bearish flag i'm waiting on this bearish flag to be broken to then tag the first target and after that we start targeting these areas okay so the plan is still the same here and it is looking a little bit better than aussie aussie did uh, much higher movement while new zealand is still struggling a bit uh, to showing momentum to the upside okay so that's the plan here and oil uh, crazy movement to the upside we have a weekly close above this key area looking left so we did enter above these above this high we entered the area of um, no man's land which means 90 could be the next target guys so for next week um, and since the daily time frame is still holding above the level here and as far as that is the case any retest toward this area that hold the line you might look for continuation 90 could be the next level for the bulls to eye here checking the four hour time frame we're still in a structure that is bullish with higher highs higher lows deeper correction here and then it moved higher to be honest when i saw this last week i told our guys in trading room that if we got a daily close as it looks right now so if the market would close that daily candle down here and hold uh, below fail to break higher we are looking for a rotation back down now for next week the same would be here they need to break and hold above this level for that continuation so this previous high could be a trouble area and we might see yet another another rotation if that happened i want you to keep an eye on this level because the market did move strongly from here we might get another push to the upside from that area as well and that would be it for this week guys thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye